Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. If you've been following my uh, channel, you know that uh, I do most of my uh, videos in virtual machines. And my favorite virtual machine software is Vert Manager. Now, last year I did several videos on how to install Vert Manager in Arch Linux, pure Arch Linux, that is. Now, if you're installing Vert Manager in pure Debian or Debian based distribution like Antex Linux or Linux Mint or Ubuntu, it's really easy. You just go to the software center, click it on, download it, and it installs. But when you're installing Vert Manager in pure Arch Linux, it's a little more complicated. You have to download and install quite a few files. And you have to change some of the configuration files and run some commands so that it will work properly. So I wrote instructions out for myself and for the viewers, you people. And those instructions are on my GitLab repository. And well, I'm going to show you. But the thing is, is that when I followed those instructions to install Vert Manager and I made those videos about it, you had to go line by line by line and install everything and run those commands. Today, I made an install script that makes it really easy. You just have to run the script and it will install Vert Manager into Arch Linux and run all the proper commands and change the configuration files so that it works properly. It's really easy. So today I'm going to show you that script and I'm going to install Vert Manager on my brand new refurbished computer that I purchased a few weeks ago. So let's get to it. So today I'm in a bare metal computer and this is the computer I use to do all my recording in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into or remote into my brand new refurbished computer that I bought a few weeks ago and I'm going to use my new install script to install vert manager and I'm going to test it out to see if it works. Now, before I do that, what I want to do is go here and I'm going to show you my old file first. So I'm just going to click this workspace on here. So this was my old file and I would run all these commands and when I made my videos on how to install Vert Manager in Arch Linux, I told the viewer, you people, to run all these commands as well, and I ran them one at a time. So I installed these things. Then I went down and installed these ones. And I ran this third command. The fourth command was actually going into configuration file and changing the file and uncommenting two lines in it, or making those, making two lines in it active. And, and then I ran all these other commands and then you rebooted and Vert Manager was ready to go, ready to work. So I took all this today and I made a configuration file that a script, a bash script that you run. It's like really easy. All you have to do is run it. It will download everything. It will change the configuration file and run all those commands. And it's really easy to use. Okay. So I'm going to close this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Armina. And it's the Dell 3. I'm going to click it on. That's my brand new refurbished computer. I have Arch Linux installed in it with the GNOME desktop environment. And now we're logged into it. So what I'm going to do is open up Xterm. I'm going to make it full screen. And let's make it a little larger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my GitLab repository. So I'm going to do git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com artibus one slash mench dot git. And I just clone my GitLab repository. Now, if this line is too hard for you to remember, this line is in the show notes of all my videos. And I'm going to clear the screen. And now if you downloaded my GitLab repository a while back, well, today, like I said, I made a new script for installing Vert Manager in Arch Linux. 
And so you might want to update the GitLab repository and every once in a while and make changes to it. So you do what you, so the way you do that is you would CD into the mensh directory and do git pull. Now it's already up to date because I just downloaded it. But if you downloaded it a while ago, it's going to update it. Okay. So now that we're in the mensh directory, I'm going to CD into arch. Well, let's just ls it. So you see, I have all these folders here. I'm going to go into this arch folder, CD into arch, ls it. So you don't want to go into this one. And actually I should, I'm going to have to remove that. That shouldn't be there because that's stale. What you want to do is you want to go into this one and I'm going to show you what's inside of it, but you don't have to go into it. All you have to do is run it. So let's vim into it. Vert manager period sh. So this is what's in it. If you run this script, it's going to download all the files that you need. It's going to enable and start all the processes that need to be started. And it's even going to change a configuration file. Well, it's going to copy a configuration file over with the two lines uncommented and activated that need to be activated. So this is fantastic. You're not going to have to do anything except run the script. Okay. It's so much easier to install vert manager this way in Arch Linux than using my old instructions. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here and I just want to wanted to show you what's in there. You don't even have to go into it. So we're going to do um, period slash vert manager period sh. I'm going to hit enter. Oh, it's asking for my password. And there we go. We're going to install the programs. So what it's doing is it's going to install the programs and it's going to change the configuration files and it's done. That's it. Now, the only thing you have to do is reboot. So I'm going to reboot. And of course, I'm going to get disconnected from my remote session, but that's okay. So let's reboot it. And we just got disconnected and I'm going to pause the video and come back. So don't go away. Okay. So I rebooted that computer and now we're going to log back into it. So I'm going to open up Romina and it's the Dell three. So let's open it up. And let's see if vert manager is installed and if it works. So I'm going to click it on. It's right here in my dock and it's connecting. And the first time you start vert manager, it's going to take a, a moment to connect. Why? I don't know. And it's connected. So let's see if it's working. Now, what I did was I downloaded into this computer, the March 1st ISO for Arch Linux. And I'm going to go through an install. Now I'm just going to go through a quick install. First of all, I'm just going to install a base install with root. And secondly, I'm going to use the Arch automated installer because I just want it to be fast and quick because this video was not really about how to do an install or how to install Arch Linux. This video was really about my new script, making it really easy to install vert manager in pure Arch Linux. Okay. But anyways, so let's hit file. Let's add a new virtual machine and I want to see if this works. I know it does cause I already tested it. Let's go forward. Let's click on browse. Let's cl click on browse local. And here's my ISO right here. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to go forward. Oh, I skipped a step. You have to fill in this blank here. I forgot. So it didn't automatically put it in. So I'm going to unclick it. I'm going to type in arch and I'm going to click on arch and then I'm going to forward it and it's recommending one CPU and one gig of RAM, but I'm going to change it to 4096, which is four gigs of RAM. I'm going to give it four CPUs and I'm going to go forward. And it's recommending at least a 20 gig hard drive. Let's just leave it at that. Normally I make my virtual machines 
40 gigs or 50 gigs, but I'm not going to use this virtual machine for anything. And let's go forward. And the name of this installation is going to be Arch Linux. It's good enough for me. Let's finish it. And let's make it full screen. And looks like it's working. And I knew it would. Okay, so let's do uh, set bot tier dash 132B and let's just go arch install. I'm going to make this really fast. Did I spell it wrong? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's go to mirrors, mirror region. I'm going to really fly through this. Canada. Back. Locales. Let's go up to English Canada. This configuration, best effort. EXT4. I'm not going to encrypt it. Grub is good. I don't want to swap. Host name is Arch Linux. That's good. Root password is this. I'm going to put it back in. I'm not going to make a user account. I'm not going to make a profile. I'm not going to put audio in right now. I'm just going to do a LTS kernel. Additional packages, the Vim, Git, Terminus, Font. Network configuration is going to be network manager. Time zone is going to be Canada. Oops. Eastern. And I think that's it. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Oh, let's go down. I'm going too fast for myself. <laughs> and let's install it. Let's click on enter. So. I apologize for going so fast because I don't want this to be a long video and this video really isn't about how to install Arch Linux. This video is more about my new install script for making it easy to install Vert Manager in pure Arch Linux and installing Vert Manager on my new refurbished computer and checking to see if it works. Okay. So this is just going to take another minute or two. So I'm going to pause the video and come back. So don't go away. And that didn't take long at all. I didn't even get out of my chair. Yeah, I paused the video, but I never got out of my chair. I just sat here and watched it go. So uh, I don't want to, def the default is to go shirut into the system. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use my, my arrows to say no. And installation is complete without any errors. You may now reboot. Let's reboot. And uh, this shouldn't take too long. Let's make it full screen. And let's see if we can get into it. And of course, this is the base system. I don't have uh, my user mesh in there yet or any apps like Firefox or Window Manager or Desktop Environment. I just want to make sure it's working. And let's type in the word root and my password. And it works. Now I'm going to shut down. And I'm going to close Vert Manager. And make sure it still opens and everything's working, okay? So let's close it. Okay, so let's reopen Vert Manager and see if we can get back into my virtual machine. I know we can, but uh, let's just do it anyways. So let's open up out here. And you know what? I'm not going to do that. Let's go. Let's go into it this way. Here it is right here. Vert Manager. Let's click it on. Now it's open. Let's open up my Arch Linux system. Let's make it. Uh, well, let's hit the start button. Or the play button. And make it full screen. And now we're logging into it. And I'm going to put, well, I can't put mention here because I haven't made a user yet. 
which I'm not going to do for this video. So I'll put root in, put my password in, and let's just do set font tier dash 132b. And let's clear the screen, and there we are. We're logged into my Arch Linux virtual machine. Let's shut down. And that is Vert Manager installed in my brand new refurbished computer with my brand new install script that I made today. Now, one more thing I want to do before I go. Let's disconnect from this. Uh, and then remember, this is not a virtual machine. This is a real bare metal computer. Let's disconnect from this remote session and go back into my bare metal computer that I've been using to make my videos. So let's disconnect. Let's close this window. So now we're back in my older bare metal computer, the one that I've been using to make all my videos. And this computer is running pure Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I just came back here because I wanted to show you what Burt Manager looks like in this computer in case you're brand new to my channel and in case you never used Vert Manager or watched any videos about it before. So this is what it looks like in here. I'm going to open up uh, Vert Manager. And these are all my virtual machines. Okay. So let's close that. And that's it. In this video, I explained how Vert Manager is easy to install and get working in Pure Debian, Linux Mint, Antex Linux, Ubuntu, and in most Linux distributions. But that in Pure Arch Linux, it's a lot more complicated to get it installed and functioning. I also talked about how I used my old instructions to install Vert Manager myself and to make videos on it and how those instructions you had to go line by line by line to put everything into the system and I explained how today I made a brand new install script that makes it really easy and fast to install Vert Manager in Pure Arch Linux and then I demonstrated that it works because I did a remote session into my brand new refurbished computer and I used my brand new install script to install and configure Vert Manager in my new computer easily and successfully. And then to prove that it works, I installed Arch Linux in a virtual machine in my new computer. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.